Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh To Dr. Dayang and good day to everyone My name is Noor Azra Bitu Zikipli And today I would like to present for my individual assignment With the topic of food imaging technology for sorting and grading Here is the content uh, in my slide including the introduction of sorting and grading uh, Second types of sorting equipment Next, uh, innovation of the sorting and grading equipment and its challenges And the last one is the conclusion for the introduction, uh, the sorting can be defined as the separation operation based on the difference in physical properties of the food raw materials or products such as color, size, shape or weight of the food raw material. Grading, while well, grading is the assessment of a number of characteristics of a food to obtain an indication of its overall quality. For the methods of sorting, uh, this can be categorized into four, which is uh, weight sorting, size sorting, color sorting, and the shape sorting. For the weight sorting, uh, the separation of raw material on the base of its weight, weight is usually the most precise method of sorting. The second one, for size sorting, various types of screen and sieves with a fixed or variable apertures can be used. The screen may be stationary, rotating, or vibrating. While for the color sorting, the separation of raw material on the base of its color, color sorting can be applied at high rates using microprocessor controlled color sorter. And the last one, for the shape sorting, the separation of raw material on the base of its shape. Next one is the importance of sorting and grading technology, where this technology can increase the processing capacity, profit and yield. Then this technology also promote the lower labor cost, after that, uh, it also keep the consistent of the quality, food and safety, and also ease of use and reliability. And the last one, this technology also can fulfill the consumer requirement. Then, we move on to the next slide, which is the types of sorting equipment. Later, I will explain the details for each equipment for the type of color, weight, shape and size sorter. Next, I will explain for the sorting equipment of the color sorter. Based on the video camera, uh, first the foods are fed in a rows on a roller conveyor beneath a video camera. The relative uh, intensities of a reflected red, green and yellow light are transmitted to the microcomputer which constructs a composite image of each piece of the food showing uh, both the spread of color and the mean color of uh, inspected foods. Then the computer compares the constructed image with the preset specification and activates a compressed air rejected or a mechanical deflector to remove the rejected food. Then when this type of a system is used to sort of a bag good. Okay, next one for the sorting equipment of the weight sorter based on the automatic weight sorter, it consists of a slated conveyor which transport the eggs or fruits above a series of counterbalance, counterbalance arms. Then the conveyor operates uh, intermittently and while stationary, the arms raise and weigh the eggs or fruit. After that, heavy eggs or fruits are discharged into a padded chute and lighter eggs or fruits are replaced on the conveyor to travel to the next weigher. Then by using a series of tipping or compressed air blowing mechanism to set trigger at progressively lesser weight, the heavy items are removed first followed by the next weight category and so on. This system are called a computer control. Okay, for the sorting equipment of the shape sorter uh, based on the D sorter, shape, uh, shape sorting is uh, useful in the case where the food units are contaminated with a particle of similar size and weight. Uh, this is uh, particularly applicable to grain which may contain uh, other seeds. The principle is that these or cylinders uh, with accurately shaped uh, indentation will pick up seed of the correct shape when rotated through the stalk while other shape will remain uh, in the feed. Okay, next, uh, for the last one, the sorting equipment based on the size sorter. Okay, based on the multi deck uh, flat bed screen, it has a number of inclined or horizontal mesh screen stacked inside a vibrating frame. Then, the fruit particles that are smaller than the screen apertures pass through under gravity until they reach a screen with an aperture size that retains them. This type uh, of screen are widely used for sorting dried food, uh, including sugar, salt, cereals, uh, flour, and spices. Okay, next one is the development of sorting and grading technology in Malaysia. 
uh, in the past humans use a lot of energy for sorting and grading it has it has also taken a lot of time and will probably increase a labor cost due to the need of, of for a lot of manpower. But today, with increasingly rapid of technology, manpower for the purpose of setting and grading can be reduced as well as can increase the accuracy uh, in the production. Okay, next, uh, we move to the innovations in um, nation vision bolster food inspection. So it is designed for dried and frozen fruits and vegetables. So it has used the Dikari technology where um, this technology is used a 10 light system uh, consists of 4 color and 6 infrared for detecting visual and textural defects. Yeah, it also using a higher resolution camera that can be disposed of color defects such as unripe produce, rotten produce and foreign bodies even if they are same color as the end product. Uh, as you guys can see in the image below. Uh, this machine also used the Unico software, a new system that make it possible to run all machine of one type of software. Okay, so this one uh, is the red tech vision of the uh, new Decari technology that I had uh, explained in the slide before. Okay, then uh, we move to the food grading solutions for seafood processing. So based on uh, our knowledge within the computer vision technology, uh, this technology have developed a waterproof grading solution for onboard uh, convey system on commercial fishing vessels or either onshore fish processing line. This technology automates the seafood grading process which is commonly done uh, manually. Moreover, uh, this technology also can eliminate human errors and inconsistencies as it does uh, not rely on human operators. So, the seafood uh, grading technology enables the grading of fresh seafood with more than 1 mm accuracy, sorting of fish uh, by size and type, while also detecting unrecognized seafood uh, such as unknown defect or banned fish, um, and also garbage, uh, garbage lah, such as effect uh, uh, is just not detected as a fish. The data from um, the camera are sent to the prog programmable logic controller PLC system that sort fish and discharge a foreign object using the robotic technology. Okay, this one uh, is the challenges of the innovation of the sorting equipment. First, uh, processors need to have a flexibility on the packing lines, which uh, inevitably means they need to run several different uh, products through the line. And the second one, uh, they need uh, for this technology, they need to find the machine with a high enough capacity to provide the final inspection in the packaging line that can efficiently detect and remove mis or newly introduced foreign materials such as plastic, cardboard, and woody that may have come from a storage pellets. Okay, so as the conclusion, we can conclude that the innovation for the sorting and grading equipment promotes uh, many advantage compared to the limitation that there has been faced in the production process. So here, I explain about the benefit uh, for each uh, innovation. Okay, so for the first one, uh, the sorting technology that utilizes more ways of generating contrast between different objects. So the benefit that uh, they had been uh, get, uh, it developed a greater ability to perform non-disruptive uh, interrogation of customer's product. The second innovation, sorters that can conduct a subsurface inspection for QC in line for every piece of product as opposed to testing a sample of line. So the benefit is to ensure the quality for 100% of the product sorted through put the yield benefits from the ability to make real-time decision from inspection results. The third one is self-learning sorters that can run on their own with minimal human intervention because um, this can provide cost-effective solutions to expensive labor shortages and the ability to deliver better quality product and maximum yield. The fourth one is more sophisticated algorithm that allows sorter to better understand data collected by sensors because uh, it can determine the trends and improve communication for optimal line management while maintaining performance of the sorter. The fifth one is the sorters can, can collect information in order to improve the product line beyond the beyond just sorting uh, because it can, it can create better quality product and a higher profit for processes worldwide. And the last one, the sorters that understand and take into the account the in, inevitable variability of food product because it can allow processes to drastically improve yield and many 
and minimize waste. So we can conclude that there are many benefits from the, the innovation that had been done uh, for the sorting and grading uh, equipment. Okay, so that's all from me. Thank you.